two returning teams, both looking to better their previous results, both looking to go further than ever before, but only one will actually get that chance. It all gets very, decided here. Very similar to our fourth quarter final as well, but to start things off, I'm interested to see if Gagora stays on the Wrecking Ball, because that actually would have been a flex tank Wrecking Ball, which changes things up just a little bit, but no team willing to flex out too much. Mui, though, going to start with a soldier. Yeah, Talon going by the book, Goats, no change, all things told. But yes, that soldier is a big deviation. Not an unexpected one, certainly. But oh, he's already in this close quarters is really rough for him, able to just inch out of that area. But it means Talon get control of it. A Ting may just get out of this with his life. No, not so lucky. A week, though, took a bit of a dive off the edge, and that maybe changes things. Evens up the fight a touch as now Hong Kong Attitude will have to wrap around the front to get onto the point. That's a weakness of Hong Kong Attitude's composition versus the triple tank, triple support from Talon, and that's because Talon is so much better equipped to take a melee fight. Hong Kong Attitude just have to continue backing off. Talon haven't actually, hadn't rather realized that there was a Pharah. They have realized now, so they're backing back into cover. Like a recent they, yeah, they nearly took a, a overly aggressive position there. Oh, oh, hook and drop. Bazzy's out of the picture. Straight down into the pond. Oh. That's going to be a straight charge onto Mango Jai's one. Even things up. I felt that. That was rough. A week getting pressured low, but saved by Persia's coalescence, and they're able to push back, drop a ting. That was Hong Kong Gora. Attitude. Yeah, oh, that's so nice from 10-10. Hong Kong Attitude actually got control of the point there just because of how they pressured Talon, even though Talon fought back and pushed some kills back their way. Another oh. hook, now kill coming in onto a week. Hong Kong Attitude have a good position here. Good Earth Shadow though onto Mui, but no follow-up to actually kill him. Does stop the majority of the visor, but they get back on the point before it flips over and start cleaning house. Excellent fight from Hong Kong Attitude. Now this is where the tanks of Hong Kong Attitude, specifically 1010, are doing so much. 1010 with the hooks are finding so many kills, whether that's actually hooking somebody in and finishing them off or taking them directly off the map. Telling he's supposed to consistently down onto members, and they need members to challenge players like Mui. In fact, they need members to even challenge members like Shai Lin, who's way up into the air. 1010 is really making this Roadhog work as well. The number of environmental kills he's been able to have here, it's really just harrying this GOATS comp. They're never in a good tight-knit position. He's also got the whole hog as well, so even when Talon actually wants to aggress, it's going to be difficult. They've got to play into their big ultimate, and they still have to deal with Shai Lin. They've got the ultimates to deal with it, though. You already see... There they both come out, the whole hog, and of course the coalescence to keep everyone topped off during it. Haru still with the sound barrier, plus a rally now. These health bars are going to get massive out of Talon. Hong Kong Attitude going to have to deal a lot of damage. That's a oh, lot. Oh, yeah, a lot of damage going on to Hong Kong Attitude. I mean, Shailin already going down, just new to their ability to deal the AoE, and they couldn't clean up with Mui after that. Talon just gong out to cap the point back. And just surviving the ults from Hong Kong Attitude as well. You did see that whole hog eventually come out. Just wait till it's over. Talon Esports then make their aggression known for Hong Kong Attitude. Didn't quite have that front line to just take the brunt of the push coming in from Talon as well. Now they have the control of the point, but they are at a bit of a deficit. And Hong Kong Attitude happy to use Alt the retake. Talon's starting to rack up a few ultimates of their own, though. They don't have a lot to work with, but they are high-impact ultimates if they can make them connect. Though you could say the same for Hong Kong Attitude here, I have to be honest. So damaging ones that are really, really difficult for Talon right now, because there is that tactical visor. Straight in, but counted out largely by the sound barrier. Not There's that, though. the rocket barrage, though. It's just enough. Even as Shailin goes down, Talon have been bled dry. Hong Kong Attitude are the ones getting more mileage with the tools that they committed there. Talon didn't even get a chance to use the Earth Shatter. They're now just going to have to see if they can use it in the next fight. They've lost this one. There's not much of a next fight left to go. We're nearly at the 90% mark. Talon Esports just have to regroup as quickly as possible, re-enter the fight as quickly as possible, and then challenge for that point. This is potentially their last attempt. You can see Tenten was just looking to catch a straggler maybe with that hook. Here comes Talon, though, around Ooh. onto the side. Doesn't quite oh. connect on their hook. Ten Ten's boot! Who taste your own medicine, buddy. Now Hong Kong Attitude on the point, kind of reeling, dazed and confused. Cap goes to Talon. Hong Kong Attitude at the seed, a lot of ground. Lose CQB as well. Gogora gets blasted off the edge, but a Ting takes him with him, and Gogora's going to be back up just fine. Point. Belongs to Talon now. What a huge play for Haru, eliminating one of the biggest factors from Hong Kong Attitude, and they need the tank buffer to protect that backline. Mui can't do a lot if one of his biggest tanks are down. Shai Lin now, knowing that there's not a lot of time left, gonna come back as the Brigida. Mui gonna come back as a Diva. 
Yeah, they're just going to have to take that same hyper-mobile tank-heavy composition that Talon themselves have been running. And Talon have a big upper hand now in terms of ultimates. That grab self-destruct, the decimated Nano. Hulk. i got to shoot a few fights to go. Oh, never mind all that. Boop off the edge. 10-10. That means no combo there. That blender, that nano whole hog combo. Talon... Plenty of ultimates still as they commit the sound barrier in. They've still got a grab here. Earth Shatter from a Ting doesn't connect. Gets blocked by a shield as the grab from a week does connect. Doesn't get the kills though. Mui is the first casualty finally, but no one's on the point. All those members from Hong Kong Attitude that were up were just not quite close enough. What a nail bite. It feels like it should have been Hong Kong Attitudes, but it's Talon that are able to get over the line to take the first point of Li Zhang Tower. What a fantastic finish for Talon Esports and a disappointing one. Sadly for Hong Kong Attitude, they had such great control. 85% advantage at one stage as well in terms of progress. They had the ultimates to play with. They had the members to play with. But two sound wave kills, two boob kills environmentals from Haru onto Tenten seal the deal. You need that whole hog. We've seen how important Tenten has been while playing that Roadhog. And because he's out of the map, because he's off so quickly, Hong Kong attitude just fall apart. Such a high impact ultimate to remove from play. Hong Kong attitude running Bit of a deviation now, keeping Mui on the soldier though, and it was working well for them. Talon sticking to their guns, or rather their goats. Let's see how they work it out this time on Control Center. And I'm interested to see what angles Mui can get long range here, because he has a lot of shields to deal with, a lot of healing to get through. Already pressured out, unfortunately. Yeah, this is a full wraparound from Talon, but Mui's able to just sprint away. Now he's going to be able to come around the far side. Talon looking to get aggressive. They get a ting. They take advantage of Hong Kong Attitude's separated positioning. They were trying to get a wraparound to end up just getting kind of thrust through the middle by Talon. Bring it around the rosy here. They want to chase Mui down, but every time they try, he just repositions to get to another angle. He's very annoying, but the issue is we haven't seen the conversion of that damage into actual kills, into actual point capture, and now he's finally caught. That's the thing, he's not dying, but he's not getting kills. And now that he is dead, things are looking decent for Talon. Never mind, as I say that, even though 1010 gets, I think, jumped, uh, pushed off the edge for that last little bit, Talon are taking damage. Biting back, though, to pop those two tanks keeps them in control here. They are going to weather the storm for now. Now the issue becomes they can't quite get the same long-range setup they're looking for. If they want to crossfire between Mui and Shailin, they got to get Mui or Shailin, rather, onto a side flank. It's very difficult to do when you don't have control of the point, when you have very limited space to work with. And at this point, it's and been a bit... DPS yeah, I was going to say. At this point, it's been read by Talon anyway. They know what Hong Kong Attitude is setting up for, and they're not going to let Hong Kong Attitude do it again. 1010 is going to go down here. Talon just keeping control without too much of a trouble. It's a long wraparound for Mui. I'm actually kind of just surprised he hasn't gone upstairs yet. Maybe it's a little bit too predictable, but at this rate, you need the tools. You need something to deal with Talon Esports. This progress is running away from Hong Kong Attitude right now, and they haven't gotten anything done. Unfortunately, Mui showing himself in the high ground just draws Gagora to him like a moth to flame as the Earth Shatter on the ground. Oh, it's Persia who's Mui on his what? back. Mui wins the duel up top side, and Gagora pops back down in the pilot form. Hong Kong Attitude need to make that count for something, though. They still haven't actually got a fight win Visor. or progress. Yeah, maybe the Visor can do it. Villain Yo goes down. They're slowly starting to chip away at Talon on this defense, who for the first time are looking just a little bit lost. They're not sure which part of Hong Kong Attitude to deal with first. And Hong Kong Attitude taking full advantage. Let's see if Gogora can win it this time around. Moving oh, no. Life. No. Forced out of the mech. Self-destruct onto the point. Gets nothing. Dragon Strike sweeps across. This is such a mess, but a Ting looks like he's finally sealed the deal for Hong Kong Attitude. I gotta say, Mui winning that 1v1 versus Gogora was such a big deal. Forces Gogora back, it makes him lose his mech, but not only that, it allows the Visor to come through uninterrupted. Who else from Talon can challenge him? It's only Gogora that can fly up and block that ultimate. And because the Visor comes up, because Talon have no answer, they have to back off. As they back off, Hong Kong Attitude say, it's our time to cap, it's our time to fight, and they did win that fight. Like a millennial of the housing market, it was maybe a bit too expensive for Hong Kong Attitude. Only an Earth Shatter available now. So the rally comes out from Bazzi. Talon looking in good shape so far, especially with the team dead and the Earth Shatter not getting much mileage. Now Sound Barrier is here for Haru to keep these already health buffed members even further buffed with shields. The sleep doesn't get too much for Hong Kong Attitude here, who are about to get forced back off the point. So Talon are quite happy to use ultimates. They only need to win one fight. Already capped it over 99%. Earth Shatter, a Ting's on his back. 
and they're not even going to get a boot on the ground. It was already 99% for Talon when you consider how close Gardens was. In fact, it almost felt like Gardens was going to be a Hong Kong Attitude win until Talon turned it around. But then, wow, Control Center itself was just Talon through and through. Hong Kong Attitude could barely get a way in, and with that, Talon going to take the first point in the series. you got to say, you're looking night market, we're rather Gardens here, and you think this is probably a Hong Kong Attitude victory that they'd expect to have, you'd expect them to, to see them have. We would be going to a map three or a round three on the Lee Jung here to sort of tie things up, but you didn't quite get there because Control Center was yeah. unfortunately for Hong Kong Attitude such a one-sided affair in terms of talent. Um, and for talent exports, look, they just had to play their regular game plan. They didn't have to do anything too crazy or too weird. It's Hong Kong Attitude trying to be creative here, trying to get some angles onto Mui, but there's so many moving parts that are so difficult to get that to work. And the one time it did work, Mui won a 1v1 against a Diva on high ground against a Gagora. Coming down with a Visor, that's a great play, but that only happened one time. Every single other time, he was very annoying. He had a lot of long-range damage. We did note that there was a buff to hit scan fall-off damage. That's nice, but where were the kills? It just wasn't quite enough. It didn't seem that Talon Esports were really phased by it. And uh, let's be honest, he spent most of his time in the early stages of that control center just running away, running away from things. Sure, not dying, but he wasn't remotely close to his team and it ended up leaving the rest of his team in a really bad spot. And that's to say nothing of the bad positions that Mui was finding himself in off the back of it. They ended up just wasting a bit of their own time, I think, which is... Really unfortunate. Normally it's great to survive a dive like that, draw some attention away, but it didn't actually pay off the Hong Kong attitude yep. here. And I think the idea is good. I like the idea because what it says is, okay, if we get this set up, it will work. And we did see it work. You got that example of what that looks like. Mui uncontested, no one can touch him. Of course, it's just basically becomes some sort of an infallible strat after that. But the setup is what's difficult. And that's why I say so many moving parts because it requires so many things to go correct for Hong Kong attitude for that state to actually happen and for them to actually win. So again, too much to do there. Kings Row is going to be map number two, and we'll see here if Hong Kong Attitude can bring it back around. And you already see how close this is potentially going to be, but if it's close but no cigar for Hong Kong Attitude, then this becomes a three and zero. The onus is on Hong Kong Attitude to step it up, to turn it around, to improve what they were able to do just now on the Junk Tower. I think King's Row is a smart pick. It's a very astute pick, especially when it's looking like they want to be pulling in soldier comps here. Just based on what they've been playing so far, this, this feels like it suits them but they've still got to step it up. And I think at the same time, you'd expect to see Mui go back into Widow here. And at the same time, you'd almost think Widow would have worked better on Control Center anyway. But that aside, you know, looking into the future, we know Mui's hero pool is a little bit deeper than that. And the Kree's in there, we didn't even talk about that one, who had his own buff in terms of 1.26. At the same time, Sombra is a pick that we've been talking about for some time now that we saw a lot in our previous quarterfinal. I've not quite seen that so far, and I wonder when Mui's going to bring it out. The, the little details I think that make King's Row. You know, it's the, uh, the anti-omnic graffiti, it's the blimp. You know, it's the little things. It's the fact that there are ugly high-rises right in the middle of otherwise quite nice old quaint districts. It really feels Got like London. Subway. Yeah, right down to the tube station that is actually tubular. That is just the best. That's why they call it the tube, would you believe? Very astute, very accurate. There's no false advertising there. That's why I always, li I, I like the way the English name things, because they, they call an elevator a lift, because it lifts you. So great, so simple. Oh, Only problem is when it goes down, I was gonna say. it's <laughs> kind of falls apart. But let's see, speaking of going down, here's a great segue. If Talon will be able to take Hong Kong Attitude down a second time, push it to match point, or whether Hong Kong Attitude We'll turn things back around. Speaking of lifting up as well, Hong Kong Attitude now finally running Mui onto that Sombra. And telling again, Gagora thought about the wrecking ball, thought otherwise. And hey, if this composition is working, why change it? Persia, though, playing the Anna. 
And this is interesting from Hong Kong Attitude. It's basically goats, but with a Sombra. And, I mean, we already know how good Mui's Sombra is. So let's see if it pays off for them. By the way, TYG subbing in on the side of Talon, who themselves are running a bit of a goats variation. But it's Hong Kong Attitudes that is coming out the worst for wear in this fight. The point should now go the way of Talon before too long. And the team just lost his life so early there. Talon Esports came in so quickly. Hong Kong Attitude caught their pants down and still they haven't put their pants back on. CQB going down now. Yeah, and uh, someone's got to belt and buckle these up, but it's not going to be a ting going down now. And even a few members still trying to retreat as the point cap comes over. Hong Kong Attitude just not holding the ground there in any convincing fashion. Now just getting run down by Talon. This is exactly the type of speed you want to see executed out of a God's composition. Again, triple tank, triple support. And for Talon Esports, look at those ultimates. They're so close. And Hong Kong Attitude still reasonably far away. The big one is going to be the EMP. But still, Mui needs to challenge that one up. And they are running out of time to get the job done. Coming close to some ultimates though, so by the time the fight actually happens, Hong Kong Attitude should have those available, but so will Talon. It'll be effectively even, and it's just going to come down to execution, which, to be fair, is where Hong Kong Attitude have struggled so far. The setup is there, now you do see the ramp around, but the Earth Shadow did come down. Oh, and it's a big one too, all three on their backs, they survive, but only just barely, and not for long at that as Talon continuing this unbridled aggression, continuing this very aggressive forward momentum. And the timing so off for Hong Kong Attitude and so good for Talon Esports. Again, they see the enemy, they go for that attack. Mui's missing, he tries to come in from the backside. Gagora spots him straight away, ties him down straight away. Mui just happy to get this EMP. He didn't even have that last time. At least Hong Kong Attitude come in with an ultimate advantage now, but they had to lose a fight to get in that position. There's the EMP, as the self-destruct did go forward from Gogora, but didn't quite get any work done. That's an Earth Shatter from a Ting that's going to make hay while the sun is shining as they pick up the kills now out of 1010's grab. All the ultimates committed in the fight there for Hong Kong Attitude, but they do hold. They could not have waited any longer either. That can't was about to go over B, was about to finish that cap. Oh, I'm going to I'm survive it for now, straight after the EMP, but we already back up to 41% on that charge, and he needs to get this charge quicker. He needs to out-time Talon Esports, such that when Talon Esports are ready to win a fight again, Mui is there to stop them. This guy's ultimate uptime on Sombra is almost legendary. Hasn't quite got back into the swing of that yet, but approaching that point now. Sound barrier from CQB can see them through to that point where EMP is a factor. Nice but spot. there's the Earth Shatter out of Villain Yo. There's got to be the sound barrier to react, and it does help. It keeps the Ting alive, but Haru can match it. And that means that Talon ultimately have the advantage. You see that being reflected in the kills as well. The EMP did come up, though. He did live long enough, but it's just too late to count for anything. And Talon are going to cap point B. And that's the thing. The buffer exists where the tanks are still alive, and they can only be kept alive for so long. Both sound barriers came up no one was going to go down but eventually Hong Kong Attitude just don't have that firepower they have the EMP again but they have to use it on the third point to deep end that second point's gone and you're just seeing the extra health bars from Talon really paying off but there's an EMP to try and change that tune especially with Villino going down and TYG Valiant with the whole hog isn't going to get much for it and now with the bio grenade on him get a little bit uh pressured out here Persia bumped off the edge TYG is not long for this world they get a touch more progress out of the payload. Hong Kong Attitude are just giving this ground up. Uh, that's very surprising. Talon is actually still in this one. TYG actually survives as well, which is really surprising. Goes Finally. down eventually, but Talon have been pushing. Mui is also staying alive in this fight, though, and that's really helping Hong Kong Attitude out here, but not when they all get caught in a grab like that. No follow-up. Rather, sorry, that's Talon caught in a grab. And yeah, no follow-up, which means Talon have been able to just regroup. Hong Kong Attitude won the fight. They had the numbers advantage, but they acted as though they lost. This is the big problem now. We're still waiting for the EMP as well. Mui goes down, which means no EMP for this fight just yet. And Talon Esports, they fully regroup right now. They have control of the card. They are pushing through. And for Hong Kong Attitude, their final defense now. Hong Kong Attitude need to decide. Are you fighting or are you not? And if you are, finish the job. Flanked around the side now. Shailin loses his mech and his life. Self-destruct in the middle doesn't get much, but it's the kills on the sides 
that are really making it count now as Hong Kong Attitude are just dropping like flies. Not even mustering a real defense here. And after that cap came through on point B, they've just looked in absolute disarray. Even when things look good, I don't know what has happened to this team, but they've just crumbled before our eyes here. Still three whole minutes remaining to try and hold out for, and it's not looking good. These are the last few gasps. They get a couple back. This actually has been saved right now. There is a Bastion coming up from Millie, and there are not enough members from Talent Esports to stop that. You also did see a team come out with the Wrecking Ball. Doing the kind of meme play here, just puts the grapple on top of the car and just spins around until he dies, which he dies actually pretty quickly, but the issue is Mui saves the day, but just able to do that. Two minutes and 25 seconds. A lot of changes from Hulk. Go Attitude means no more ultimates in Talon Esports while well, they've been saving. They've given themselves another opportunity now. Hong Kong Attitude needs to make the most of it. Sleep on Mui. Oh, TYG right. conked off the edge. That's a good opener. And the rest of Talon, they've decided they're in for a penny, in for a pound here, but they haven't actually got any kills. Finally, Hong Kong Attitude look like they may be changing the tune a little bit. Not with Villain. Mui is alive. Like that, though. Mui is alive amazingly, but he's not actually getting kills. He's pumping out damage, but it needs to count for something. Oh. Why is he back there? The payload goes over. Hong Kong Attitude, what was that defense? And again, they kind of nearly almost said that they had Mui alive for so long. He was actually pumping out a decent amount of damage, just not enough to actually get kills. Nearly got that configuration tank as well. Was looking for the final bit of damage to get it in there. And then maybe, maybe that saves them. But for Hong Kong Attitude, couldn't quite put the damage together. They had shined it onto the fire. They had the Bastion. They just needed to be shooting the same targets. They needed to be converting kills off. And they even had a great start. The second time we've seen CQB push TYG off the edge getting themselves at 6v5, but even so, that's not enough. 1 minute 53 on the clock for Talon here. Pretty decent time. I will concede for how poorly some parts that went for Hong Kong Attitude. I mean, keep in mind, they didn't really muster any kind of defense on any points of this map. 153, it could have been a lot more, so credit where credit is due there. But Hong Kong Attitude certainly had their work cut out for them. Talon so far just looking a lot more comfortable and confident in these team compositions. There was some reasonable slowdown on B, especially right as the car was about to finish that cut point. And also some slowdown on that third point as well. Again, as Talon Esports were about to finish that map, but every single time Hong Kong Attitude were forcing a reset, Every single time they actually won a defensive fight, they didn't quite get to set back up again in time. They didn't quite have the win condition again to win further fight. They were always, unfortunately for them, on that back foot. Italian Esports always just eager to strike and so quickly executing as well. But all in all, 153 is decent again yeah. for take... the amount of uh, struggle that Hong Kong Attitude had. And it was struggle. It's already looking like uh, Hong Kong Attitude maybe just want to change things up. Go for something a little bit more tried and true. Stick with the GOATS comp. They're not going to make any changes here. Talon also not making any changes. Thing is, Persia's still playing Anna, so if you expect a winner here, Persia with the Bayern I could swing things around quite significantly. Ooh, hook in, but 10 10 is going to be just fine. And that is a successful dive if I ever saw one. Haru picked. Means they're going to have a much harder time keeping all these tanks topped off. The moment they start getting low, there's very few recovery tools. Good charge back in against Mui, but with the shield up, it just means he maxes out his charge and Villanio ends up miles deep. The catch back on Mango is not enough to rescue this fight for Talon. He's going to be able to just respawn and rejoin the fight anyway. Hong Kong Attitude dealing a blow back to Talon and doing to them what Talon did to Hong Kong Attitude on the attack. The thing is, Talon Esports are doing the same kind of thing they did against Monster Shield in their week five matchup they want to hide in the Alderworth hotel try and get some surprise in but two out of two times the team that comes through is just not surprised and they're even going to commit a graviton surge here Villanio tried to counter it with an earth shatter this is Hong Kong attitude just happy to take a fight happy to stop Talon block getting close to the payload blocked out indeed for the most part but TYG still goes down it's been expensive for Hong Kong attitude but it has actually been worth it like buying a good pair of boots Maybe in New Mexico. The thing is, they've been winning this entire time, so it absolutely has been worth it. And both teams have been committing ultimates. You see now that it's Talon Esports forced to change off, forced to be the ones to react because Hong Kong Attitude have just been winning these fights. They have been progressing the card as well. While all of those trades were happening, they just haven't been deterred. 
And I've got attitude is still coming up on other ultimates anyway. Again, look at how far forward they're playing. They're just looking to make space for the cart. It's on Talon to force Hong Kong attitude back towards the cart and then actually win a fight. Coalescence out from Mango Jai just to keep Talon largely at bay. But that is their last ultimate. Bazzy's already low, which means Talon Esports already backing up. They're waiting for a tire. They're waiting for an Earth Shadow. They're waiting for something they can actually use on this defense. By the time they got that something, movie has got this grab, gets out into the team. Follow up, is it not quite there? No, and there's the sound barrier to counter out whatever damage did come in. It's a Ting who's getting low, and you see Mango have to work overtime to keep tire. the top top. Tire's big! Talon were already starting to beat back the tide, but that just evaporated the ocean right there. And that's the thing you gotta be waiting for if you're Hong Kong Attitude. You should be expecting the tide to come in at any stage. And for Talon Esports as well, they were banking. They were just trying to get these ultimates up online. They bought enough buffer time. They bought enough time for TYG to get the job done. We talked about TYG as being a pretty clutch player. He's doing that even when he's not on the tracer. This is the first real fight window for Talon, and it was also expensive, but then, for them rather. Hong Kong Attitude didn't have many ultimates in that fight, and now they've got the whole lot. Both teams want to rally ready for this one as well. And you're right, Hong Kong Attitude. Definitely the ones ahead, but they need to be able to connect these. Here comes that coalescence. Plus the nano boost out onto Villain Yo, but it's not safe for him to drop that shield. The Ting is threatening the sound barrier. Which means that that oh, it does connect. Villain Yo makes the mistake and the <laughs> gets three plus the mech, and then Gogora falls down. Technically, TYG lives, probably just uh, used a mine to get out of there, but that is a domineering fight from Hong Kong Attitude. An old school combo, but you love it when you see it. It works just as well as anything that's happening in the meta. Earth Shatter into a self-destruct, completely wipes down Talon Esports. And Hong Kong Attitude can really get a good time here. They need to continue the pressure and survive the tire. Yeah, that's the real thing, isn't it? TYG has had good impact with spotted. these guys so far. Spotted. Now on a wild goose chase, trying to get onto the back line. Maybe get past the shield. No. <laughs> Shire Expert lift. fade. Yeah. Everyone completely blocks it out. Absolutely disgusting. Mango Jai outplaying the tire so well. Talon Esports running out of ideas now, running out of resources. Earth Shatter is basically all that remains. It connects though, one to four. And here's that oh, combo in return. Gagora deals one back. Not quite as impressive, but who cares? The style points count for nothing. It's the kills that make the difference. And Talon got them all. That's it. Now they're surviving. Now they get to fully reset Hong Kong attitude who need to come back. Back to the drawing board, I'd probably have to say as well. I still have a couple ultimates to use, but they've lost a significant amount of time. They need to cap within the next minute if they want to be comparable. Also losing the momentum, but now coming back in with some big ultimates. Rally out from Bazzi. May just rescue the team a bit here. No, can't quite keep Villano up. And now with all those health bars there, Hong Kong Attitude with this grab available. Tire. Coming up on other ultimates too. Coalescence's entire gets nothing but 10-10's mech. TYG pays for it with his life. 1010 wasn't able to use the self-destruct, but he's charging that back up anyway. They're still holding on to this grab. And that's the important thing because Hong Kong Attitude still have resources to win with. And for Talon Esports, they need to counter this. TYG now going to be onto that Reaper, but they are running out of time, running out of space. Nano boost from Villano. He charges in, but gets charged back Mike in Shatter. time. A Ting is down. Earth Shatter back, though, onto the remainder of Hong Kong Attitude. Means they can't follow up on that grab that they've been banking this entire time. It does look like this time they will be pushed back and TYG, if it's not a tire, it's two shotguns. And Hong Kong Attitude close to the cap, but not there just yet. And who else would it be except for TYG? He wasn't called by Ting's Earth Shatter, which definitely came down, did connect. Mui with the Graviton Surge again, but who got caught in that? TYG didn't get caught, so he cleans up Hong Kong Attitude, and now the time is really running out. They're not gonna get a comparable time on the time bank anymore. They don't have those big high impact ultimates, the Earth Shatter, the Graviton Surge. What they've got is a rally that they've already popped and has been matched by Bazzi, and now they've got this self-destruct. Tenten, though, gets nothing for it. Mango Jai is asleep on the ground. He's going to be able to survive, but now the self-destruct forward from Gogora. Locked up by the shields. Both teams still just jostling. There it is, the coalescence from Mango Jai now as well for Hong Kong. Attitude. need to find something. That's a big kahuna right there, and the cleanup already starting to come into effect. Hong Kong Attitude trying to rescue things. Plenty of health for Talon. Still plenty of time on the clock though for Hong Kong Attitude. The Death Blossom available now for TYG as well. He just has to watch out from getting stunned by Shailin's shield bash there, but otherwise he's good to go. If he hides in the appropriate spot, 
Uncle Attitude might just get caught out. They're banking onto this Graviton Surge, but if it goes badly, Uncle Attitude are out. And there's so many ways it can go bad. It can miss, it can get eaten. You can lose Mango and Jai. They do pick Bazzy though. So they've actually got an upper hand in this oh, fight. More. And another one. TYG is going to have to get a big Death Blossom, but he's just getting <laughs> blocked up by 10-10 and drilled down by the guns. Persia's dead as well. Talon have just been picked off one by one here, even with Hong Kong Attitude lacking in some members early on in that fight. And with that, they themselves will complete a cap. Slightly less time than Talon. But they do keep themselves alive on King's Row. What a huge play from Tintin 10 there. I want to explain exactly what he did. Not only did he have that Matrix available to block out the uh, Death Blossom from TYG, but consider that TYG was using the Death Blossom on the high ground. That's not intentional. He wasn't meant to do that. He was trying to jump off. Tintin reads the play, flies up, blocks him from jumping off, keeps him on the high ground. The entire Death Blossom was wasted. Even if he got the d on onto Tintin, it was still wasted just because Tintin read the play ahead of time and prevented him from TYG from getting onto the ground. And then Tintin kills him. That right, there, yeah, that right there is the Overwatch equivalent of like being the main character in a country song where like your wife leaves you, your house gets taken, and then your dog dies, right? TYG had the only play left to make. That was their final card up the sleeve for Talon Esports. If that wasn't going to work, nothing was going to stop that attack. And for Hong Kong Attitude, capping before overtime hits is so important. They've got to dodge that sort of draw scenario. Somebody has to win now. Wonder if we're Check gonna get, this yeah, out. This is the exact replay that we want to see. There's yep. the bump back up. Beautiful. Then it's getting eaten by the defense matrix. I mean, what a sick play. What Absolutely a read disgusting. by 10 10. There is no two ways about that. That is just big brain play right there. Easily the one that saved that cap for Hong Kong attitude. And look at that. Two ultimates still available for Hong Kong attitude. Zero on for Talon Esports. They had to wait for this play to come up. They needed this Death Blossom to make a bank for them. Already into action. Yeah, already brawling it out in the point. It is Hong Kong Attitude attacking first with the lesser time. It's also Hong Kong Attitude dying first. CQB gonna have to wait for that respawn. Oh, minor delays here, but for Hong Kong Attitude, even minor delays can be costly. They only had about a minute two. Now they got 30 seconds. No ults. Half their time, more than half their time now gone. Still actually struggling to make headway once again. Just taking too many shots. Now finally reset, looking to come in. We'll have a coalescence, need to get onto the point itself, have made it there. Now they need to convert kills, get picks. Pressuring Bazzy, but no cigar just yet. As the coalescence comes That's in big. now from Mango Jai. That's the first ultimate in the fight. Second oh. one's going to be an Earth Shatter, and it's a big Earth Shatter at that. Bazzy's down. Gagora D-Max, Villainio, not going to get the same mileage out of his Shatter. And the rest of the team starts to drop. Hong Kong Attitude cap the point. They will be in overtime for this push, so it's all about how far they can go. But now they have a chance to set one a hell of a distance. Now the distance, or rather the discipline coming out from Mawiga is so good as well. Confidence in knowing that Hong Kong Attitude were going to win despite there still being some talent defenders available. Now they have a grab to play with. Now they have a self-destruct to play with. They can combo both together. They can win the next fight and that is so huge. And you remember how far forward, how aggressively they played last time around on the streets phase. They are being a little bit more conservative this time around. Don't want to risk the member of the cart getting picked off in the overtime disappearing but they have the tools to get a lot of distance. Also that distance, anything they get here is a bonus. They weren't even expected to cap out A. Now already part way through B. Big commit from Talon. Oh, the grab, I think it got eaten up. Oh, that dear. is so unfortunate, such a big tool. 10-10's gonna start rescuing the fight though. Popping TYG in the middle of the hole. Oh! And Gagora does not get the same response here as now they just pile in on top of Talon who are Again, dropping like flies around this cart. Hong Kong Attitude, use the alts, bank up more, and keep the cart moving. And if plan A doesn't work, your Graviton Surge gets eaten up, while Ting's got plan B ready to go, slams the hammer down, connects another Earth Shatter. Two out of two so far in the time bank. Look at where this cart is. Again, they were not expected to cap A, they're about to cap B. This sets them up so nicely. And that's to say nothing of a potential B cap. Still, those big ultimates being banked up. Another coalescence that they can use to leverage in to another grab. It's on talent to answer. And they've only got the shatter. Oh. But it's a big shatter. A ting's on the ground. Captain. Rescued as he is by the sound barrier. And he immediately beats back Bazzy. Hong Kong attitude now. There is the coalescence. They've oh, got that the grab that they want to commit. They've got the cap just about anyway. They don't even need this graviton 
Surge, how much distance are they going to get in this time bank? Can you say rotation? Because that's exactly what is happening right now. Moving back on the Graviton Surge, a Ting nearly onto the Earth Shadow. Can he make three out of three happen? Persia's going to lie in wait on the side, connect a good bio grenade. Maybe yeah. that's how Talon Esports can get back into this game. But so far, two points capped out is way too many. And this is not a good place to fight. Talon could only take this fight at this final bend. That's so much distance for free. And now Talon commit what little they have. Earth Shatter, not a great one, but there's the grab. Bionade to keep everyone alive in it. But not if 1010 -10 has anything to say about it. Now they pick Haru. They're going to win this fight as well. And here's the rotation. 1010 -10 coming in on a self-destruct. A Ting still alive despite going low. And Mui is already more than halfway back to another grab. Talon are falling apart right now. Even the Tyre could not save them. TYG got a triple with it earlier on in the map. Zero kills this time around. Hong Kong Attitude are continuing. They're nearly finishing the entire map. Even if they don't, this is already too much progress. Look at this. They're almost there. Self-destruct up into the sky now. They need only win the last one. Talon, they need Shatter to do misses. something. Shatter not great. And Hong Kong Attitude, they lose Mui. That is big. There's the sound barrier from Maru. The tires are going to be the one that seals the deal. And that's going to be all that Hong Kong Attitude have left on this payload itself. The overtime vanishing in the blink of an eye. But I tell you what, 0.75 of a meter with a minute and two seconds. Rags to freaking riches is what that is for Hong Kong Attitude. And they get a lot of riches at that as well. That's like a Division 1 lottery winner right there for Hong Kong Attitude. You'll be happy to camp out A. You'll be happy to make a few bucks. You'll be happy to make it through B. You'll be even happy to camp out B, get through C, something in there. But to get nearly to the end, that's enough. That's more than enough because 153 available for Talon Esports, they would have to do the same thing, exactly pushing through the entire map with that momentum to get that sort of distance. Hong Kong Attitude have now got a, a completely winnable situation. This is nearly impossible to lose. And that's the thing. Look, it is still winnable for Talon. Don't get us wrong. I mean, Hong Kong Anaju just did it. Certainly Talon can too, but the reality is now that 50 seconds difference, that 50 second advantage that Talon had means nothing. Eventually, they're going to be in the situation where they're in overtime and they won't be close to C. They're going to have to go a long way in that you cannot lose a single fight state of the game. And all it takes from there is for Hong Kong Attitude to win one. Just one. Not only do Talon Hair Esports are not allowed to lose a single fight, but they have to win every single fight convincingly as well. That means charging ultimates, that means rotating ultimates, because if you lose the rotation, you don't get new ultimates, you will not continue the push. First push here, very important. Talent Esports have to instantly cap. They've got enough time. Just. But that would mean they have to do that big, big overtime push. Hong Kong Attitude did it, Talon could do it too. But this opening fight is what will define it all. TYG's low, he's picked off. This is not time Talon can really afford to lose. So they fight back, they pick Shaolin, but Shout they're Caleb. hemorrhaging members here. The health pools are just so low. And Shaolin, being the only casualty on the side of Hong Kong Attitude, oh. does not account for a successful attack from Talon. They lose half their time. Well, Mui's down, there's not going to be a raise, that's the only thing they can really play off here. Coalescence available for Persia, but Mango Jai is nearly onto his own as well. The X Factor is going to be on a Ting. He's, had, he's really hit some sick shatters so far in the time back. He needs to hit another one if they want to win. Long walk back for Mui though. That's the saving grace for Talon. It means they get onto the point because Hong Kong Attitude have to wait. Now that Mui's back, they can start pushing back onto the point. A third goes to Talon. There's the double coalescence out. A Ting and Villain Yoga to be playing that Earth Shadow Chicken. Oh! Caught in the coop is the entirety of Talon there. It's indeed Hong Kong Attitude's clutches as the members all fall down. And now only 30 seconds left. This is the point where Hong Kong Attitude were able to pull an attack out. Can Talon do the same? The difficulty here is Talon Esports are about to come up on ultimates, but guess what? Hong Kong Attitude can meet you right there. They, they got a stagger. Scout area. They got a Graviton Surge. They get a stagger as well. Talon Esports, things are going very poor but there is a final chance and this will be the final chance. It's got to be Villanyo with an Earth Shatter. They have to maybe get a Graviton on top of that. Just so many things that have to come out and connect. But there's not one. tools. That's a grab to split apart the team. Bazzi already went deep. 10-10 doesn't get anything with the self-destruct. Another caught in a grab in their own right. But Mui gets a pick. 
Talon, they've still got the Earth Shatter. Sound Barrier rescuing Hong Kong Attitude for just a moment as Villanueva's Earth Shatter did go down, but they lose a Ting at 10-10. The tank line decimated for Hong Kong Attitude, and Talon still have some tools. Overtime is there now. It is going to be the point cap, but they are in that situation, that 153, it is gone. It makes no difference anymore. Talon, they lose one, they're done. Hong Kong Attitude, Mui did use the Graviton Surge there, couldn't find any mileage. The counter Graviton Surge from TYG did much, much better. Talon Esports now finding ground on this fight, but they need to win every single fight from now on, and in convincing fashion. They need a lot more ultimates, and they need Hong Kong Attitude to lose fights and lose ultimates. Hong Kong Attitude nearly actually did it right there and then. I mean, what a difference would that be? A point A hold compared to almost a full cap out in overtime, but not quite there yet. Close though, could still do it. And if we wait to see what ultimates still come up for either side right now, here come support ones. It's gonna be the Coalescence, matched as it is by Mangoes. Earth Shatter does get blocked by Villanio. Hong Kong Attitude gonna have to commit big. The Earth Shatter comes out, catches Shaolin with the charge. He was on his back in that one. I think Hong Kong Attitude, yeah, the grab is good though. It could change the tune, but not with Mango and Shaolin down like that. A Ting as well. The pick on Haru isn't really enough, and the self-destruct from 1010 isn't gonna be a dazzler. TYG commits his grab. Tell him to commit a lot of ultimates to ensure this fight is a win, but they do win it. The uh, problem here is now they're lacking in rotation. They needed the Graviton Surge for the next fight, probably, but they are bleeding a lot of the Hong Kong Attitude ults out as well. This is part of the win condition. Now Talon Esports are probably expected to win that next fight with the three remaining, despite losing the grab. If Hong Kong Attitude now trying out other strategies, Mui's back on top of that Bastion, see what he can do. Here's a bit of a curveball, and it could be exactly what Hong Kong Attitude need to take Talon by surprise, or it could spell disaster. Nearly capped as they are, and Villain Yo gets a fat Earth Shatter. The follow-up takes a little bit of time. It's actually Shylin. Oh, down Mui caught in the South Destruct. He wasn't quite behind the crates. And that also means they know that there's a Bastion now. Hong Kong oh, Attitude, dear. no resistance, like paper. I gotta say right now, I did mention this was nearly impossible to lose for Hong Kong Attitude, but do you believe in miracles? Cartel and Esports right now may just be miracle workers at 150 something seconds to get through this entire map and they might actually do it. And this is where Hong Kong Attitude are actually suffering for not having that Zarya on their own. They're relying on Mui getting damage out. They're relying on him being a bit of a curveball, but they can't get any Gravitons anymore. TYG, he can, and he's about to come up on another one. That could be the difference here. Talent waiting for ultimates to come through. There's a Shadow. There it is onto two. It's more than enough. They don't quite get the kills, though. It takes a bit of time, and Bazzy's dead. But there's the other tool they have at their disposal. They don't get kills in the Graviton either, though. Hong Kong Attitude finally starting to drop down, but this is an awkward fight. There's still time for Hong Kong Attitude to reset, and they have actually bled Talon dry almost in terms of ultimates. They've got one last shot. Hong Kong Attitude are getting really, really desperate right now. Shailin got to go to the Doomfist as well. Wait for this configuration tank. Can that be enough of a damage to stop Talon Esports? They still have ultimates to play with, and they are nearly finished here. Going on for a big dive chassis as well. Shia Lin is with this Doom Fist. They're looking to commit. Shia Lin's low though. No tank mode. Gagora is the tank mode out. Needs to get something. It's 10 10 losing the mech. They nearly got it. Oh, they nearly capped it out. And Hong Kong Attitude are losing members anyway. I think Talon are going to do it. Unbelievable. This is absurd. They both get so much distance. But Hong Kong Attitude every opportunity to win and they didn't they gave themselves such a great opportunity throughout the entirety of that defense thanks to their insane offense in the time bank but they couldn't get it over the line they really made talon work for it but i tell you what talon are industrious and absolutely deserve to take the win on king's row and take us to match points even in the worst of situations for talon esports right now you did see the fact that there was about 30 seconds left for talon to cap a not enough time to do much else. They had to win a lot of fights very convincingly. Make sure that Hong Kong Attitude were using theirs and not getting value as well. All of those things were happening. They were ticking off that checkboard. But it, it, you almost expect it to not happen that way. Hong Kong Attitude, again, had such a winnable position to be in. I'm dead serious when I say that it's nearly impossible to lose. But look, Hong Kong Attitude themselves, they need to be able to come back and execute where they need to. And for Talon Esports, just simply outplayed them. I mean, Talon Esports had their number and when Hong Kong Attitude, you could see towards the end there as well, just really struggling to come up with new ideas. Trying the Bastion. The Bastion was simply not working at all. Trying the Doomfist towards the end there. 
They just didn't have the resources left remaining. And it's really unfortunate. It's their defenses that ultimately undid them. Hong Kong attitude, not just the time back one, but also cast your minds back to the initial one. Little to no defense on point A, very little resistance on point B. It was only on C that they really started to force an amount of harassment out. And even then, it wasn't all that much. The cap on the whole from Talon and the initial phase was largely uncontested. I don't mean to completely discredit Hong Kong attitude, but it is completely fair to say that their defenses, both regular and time bank, cost them dearly. Now the question becomes, what more can Hong Kong Attitude do? What more can they do? What have they got left in the bank right now? It's not looking too good for them, and Talon Esports do have this lead, but can Talon close it out, or will Hong Kong Attitude come back? We'll have to find out right after this break.